Hey everyone, happy 2018 and welcome to the first team call of the year. I am so excited to have you here tonight because we've got something a little different planned and I think it's going to be a great way to kind of reflect and kick off the new year um, realizing that we all start somewhere and the really cool thing about the new year is it's like this beautiful fresh slate. It's this beautiful blank book waiting for you to write it and we all start in the exact same place in the new year like when it comes to elite everything we all start at the exact same place it's brand new and um you know it wasn't that long ago that we were new coaches but i think that a lot of you guys have started following us um you know more recently on our journey when we weren't new coaches and it looks like we have all of our shit together, but we really don't. So we wanted to kind of dispel some myths tonight and show you that we all start somewhere. So I guess, first of all, my name is Lauren Kaliski, for those of you that don't know me. And tonight, myself, along with Alexis Doss and Alexa Luckenbach are going to be sharing, did I get it right finally? Like, did it take me two years of you being married to finally get your last name right? Did I? I did? Okay, cool. Anyways, uh, we're going to be sharing where we started as a coach and kind of like sharing some of our, some of the mistakes we made and how we took steps to overcome them. So hopefully you can just like learn something from um, our, our journey and maybe you've made some of the same mistakes and maybe you're doing some of these, some of the things we'll talk about tonight kind of do's and don'ts, I, I guess, um, using ourselves as prime examples of both what to do and what not to do. And we're going to focus really um, more on the past, more on when we were baby coaches um, versus now, because you guys follow us now, or most, you probably follow most of us now. Um, and we'll be sure to drop our social media in the comments. I'm just at Lauren Kaliski on, on everything. Oh, Ned! Oh, wait, hold on. I have to go to gallery view so they can see Ned. Um, so yeah, you guys already know what we are doing now. And um, although there's definitely some similarities to when we were new coaches, I know that we've all grown a lot. And um, the way that we've grown is by making mistakes, is by putting ourselves out there and constantly trying and seeing what works and seeing what doesn't work and honestly falling flat on our face and then getting back up again and saying, I'm not going to do that again, but I'm going to keep going, you know, not letting our failures um, on social media and in business kind of stop us along the way. So I'll stop blabbing. I'm going to toss it over to Alexis. She's going to kick us off and then we'll keep the party going. Uh, awesome. Hi guys. Can you hear me? Am I good? Okay. Hi everybody. So I am so excited to have this call. I had approached um, our little like group thread that we have going on and said that I wanted, I don't, I got this idea from a coach that came to me and said, and, and a coach has been coaching for a while and she said something that I've heard before, but when she said it, I was like, whoa, if she's dealing with it. Then I know there's probably so many other people that are dealing with it. But she was like, it wasn't necessarily that like I suck or I'm not good at this. She specifically said, I just feel like my life's not interesting enough. And I was like, what? It's like, what? And I think something, and while we're going to talk about the mistakes that we've made, and I'm going to show you um, some actual screenshots of like some posts that I did. I even screenshotted, went back into Team Fit Revolution and searched my name from the post that I made in 2015 and some of the questions that I asked and some of like the way I worded it um, to just show you where my mindset was. But, but something that I think a lot of coaches struggle to, to realize is that they think that, like I always use Amy Silverman as a really great example. If you don't follow Amy Silverman, she's a, a top coach in the company. She's been coaching for a while now. She's really amazing. She's just really super cool. Um, I, I, I love her. She's one of my favorite beach body coaches. Um, and when you look at her now, like she's got tattoos, she's gorgeous. She's got like this cool hair. She lives in freaking the tropics. Like she just has this really cool life. But when she talks about her story before, like you can see that she was just a waitress. She, you know, she didn't have all the tattoos. She doesn't, she, not that she was, you know, it's about being ugly or pretty or anything like that. She just looks very different. She looks not as confident as she does, as she, you know, as she does now. And everybody, I think, tends to think that, well, I'm not interesting enough for people to want to work with me. Um, so I got to like get to that point and then everybody's going to want to work with me. But it's not that. I wasn't like, 
I, I mean, I've traveled so many places, but before Beachbody, I hadn't even traveled outside of like four cities, like besides living in California, but that was it. I just lived in California. But like, I haven't even traveled outside of the United States. So I didn't have a cool, I mean, I even my life's not that cool. The coolest thing about me is Ned. Um, and I didn't have Ned when I first started. Like he wasn't a part of my social media and he's a benefit in my social media now, but I didn't always have him. So you have to understand that your life right now is where it's supposed to be. You need to share it in the way that like people are going to connect with. Um, and you will get to that point where you're traveling and you're doing cool things. It's not about like waiting till you get there to be able to share. So, um, I'm going to share my screen with you, but I just wanted to talk about a few things before I do. Um, I've been coaching for almost five years and it's going to be five years on March 22nd, which is absolutely insane. Um, and I feel like I have only found my groove, my brand, my people, um, and kind of how I share and what I share and like being really comfortable in my own skin, um, you know, with my social media and my coaching business for the past like two and a half, three years. So that means for two years, I was kind of like not really sure. So, so many of you are like six months in, eight months in, maybe even a year in, and you're like, why haven't I figured it out yet? Not even like the, am I good at inviting, but like the just being you. It took me so long to figure that out. So just be, just know that it's okay if you don't feel like you like are rocking your confidence yet. It took me forever. Like I am so loud and crazy and like, I'm going to show you a video of what I look, what I, what my videos look like before, just to show you that I'm not this crazy, like rah, 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 person that I am today. Um, few other things. We talk about this all the time, but my four things that I suggest to every single coach that joins, gotta have t you got to uh, give it time, have patience, consistency, and be genuine. That's just going to help you with the things that you need to focus on. Just add all that into the little jambalaya of your coaching and you're going to be um, really good. Um, another thing is that I constantly always compared myself to everyone. And I know a lot of you guys are doing that. I asked that question in my team page the other day. I just simply asked one sentence, how many of you guys compare yourself to others and let it stop you in your journey? And it was like 45 comments. Everybody was like, me, 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 me. We always talk about it. Comparison is a thief of joy. So I just want to show you guys, when I show you my screenshots, just understand that where I was, I was doing the same thing you're doing, comparing. But if you get that out of your head quicker than we did, you're going to be good to go. Um, and then uh, something about my confidence that I didn't really, um, do when I was a brand new coach, I struggled with my confidence. I told Lauren at the beginning of this call, like I, she would yell at me cause she was like, you're not even posting pictures of yourself. And I was like, I don't want anybody to see my face. I just didn't have any confidence, but I didn't work on it for a whole year and a half. Like Lauren was like, read personal development. I was like, this bitch is crazy. Like, I don't need personal development. Like I know I'm supposed to love myself. Like I'm supposed to do this. Like I know what I'm supposed to do, but I struggle with confidence and I didn't work on it. So whatever it is that you struggle with, if it's confidence, just telling yourself to be more confident isn't going to get you there. You have to read personal development. We say it all the time, but you have to do it. And then the last thing Lauren mentioned that I wanted to make sure that I mentioned because I didn't even think of it was that I became, towards the end of my journey, okay with starting over. I, not starting over my business, but starting over in the sense that like, okay, I'm, I'm okay that I'm rebranding myself. Okay, this didn't really work. I'm going to try something else. So if you're at a place where you feel like maybe you kind of have things figured out, but you don't want to start over because you're like, I have to start all over again. Like what if, what if, what if this, what if that? It's okay to do that. If I never kind of started over on my journey, I would probably be in the same place. So, okay. So let me share my screen with you. Um, I really am just going to share some things and then probably be be, be done. If anybody has any questions about it, just totally let me know. Um, but okay. So uh oh, Alexis, I think you're frozen. Is she frozen for everyone? Oh no, come back, Alexis. We were just getting to the good stuff. <laughs> Where are you? She told me that her power went out earlier today, so maybe. Oh, isn't there a crazy snowstorm on the? Yeah, place? maybe her Wi-Fi went out. <clears throat> huh. Huh, huh, huh. Can we stop her screen share? I don't even know if I can do that. Oh, there. Okay, so she probably got logged out. Her internet probably went out. Um. Alexa, you want to take over? Yes, I can do that. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you. Um, okay. Oh, wait, is Hi. she back on? Is she back Hi. on? 
Sorry. I think it was because, sorry, sorry, sorry. I think it was because I shared, I like went full screen. I'm not going to go full screen. I don't know what, when did it, when did it like cut it, out? It cut out right when you started sharing the screen. Got it. Okay. Well, right when I shared my screen or when I went full screen? Uh, maybe when you went full screen. I don't know. It cut okay. out. Like, we could see your screen and then you froze. Okay. Let me bring this back up. Okay. 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 I was like, maybe her power went out again. <laughs> oh no. Okay. This is. Okay. All these videos. Where is it? Okay. Here it is. So no, I lied. Let me just bring back Google slides. See this, this, this is, uh, this is just the technology that just likes to punch me in the face. Okay. Marley, stop it. Sorry. Right, I don't know where that, where that went. I'm not going to go full screen just in case that happens. And okay, so this first post is slowly coming. Okay, so this is actually my first post. I don't think it was when I announced I was a coach, but it was like shortly after. Like, what is that picture? Like, I just shared that. Like, I was like, okay, I'm a beach body coach. Here's the Team Beach Body logo. Like, I don't know what I was thinking, but I guess I thought that was a good idea. Um, but I like talked about how I went to Super Saturday and things like that. But like, so if you've shared stock images and we've been like, don't do that again, don't worry. Like I totally did that. Um, but that was like my post. Like when I talk to my coaches now, it's like, you know, you want to make sure you share a picture of your face. Um, sharing your face in any kind of call to action is always good because it's more scroll stopping than just a text post. These are my things announcing different products. Um, I talked about insanity and shake. Like I can't even, I don't even want to look at this right now. It's like so God awful insanity, shakeology. I shared something about shakeology and being gluten-free. Like I talked about something about me switching from vegan to paleo. And I just took a screenshot of my notepad. Again, it's not, it's not necessarily bad to do that. Cause sometimes you can read it better than a full caption, but just kind of including that in this. And like, I was talking about the ultimate reset, like, Oh God, man, like why was anybody reading my content? I don't know, but like no, no pictures of me. Not like that. This is the kind of stuff that people will scroll right past. Again, I always want to make sure that if you're doing this, we're not making fun of you. We're sharing it. So you don't make the mistake. So people don't scroll past your stuff. We want people to see your stuff. So Again, just just some more. Here's my challenge group. Well, what? Can I just say something? Honestly, I don't think anyone on this team, I don't think I've seen anyone do anything this bad. Like, this is no offense, Alexis. <laughs> no, it's so bad. It's so bad. Like, there's so much stuff I didn't share because I was like, okay, because we'll be here all night. Like, you can say it's bad. I, <laughs> I know it's bad. Well, you guys, like, I guess my point is you're all ahead of us. <laughs> like, mine are just as bad as hers yeah yeah and it, the thing is is like when we first started like it, Beachbody was like a bit newer so like I don't think there was as much like training as in like okay we saw that that did not work you probably should not do that like people were just letting us like free float around posting pictures of god knows what I don't even know so these were some of my challenge group posts like the, who, nobody even knows that this is me this could be like some like joe schmo just like here's a summer sale like putting the prices up like that it just oh god and back when we had e and e we didn't even have energize oh my god thank god we have energize e and e was terrible and this this is something that i do see coaches do now so this is something i wanted to message not terrible but again like this was just a white background and it just it's not scroll stopping it's just text and just imagine when you're scrolling, you rarely just stop unless it kind of maybe looks like a meme. Like it's just that white background with black letters, but like nobody really is going to stop and be like, Oh, let me read that. But if this was like a me with like a bunch of fruit on top of my head, like maybe somebody would like do that. But like, I wasn't confident enough to be silly as I am on social media. Now something that I learned. Okay. So those are my awful posts. Now I want to kind of get into the part of coaches saying that their life isn't interesting enough to share. So this was something I just shared. Again, this picture is really blurry. Like I don't, I can't even tell what's going on here. I think my laptop is on something in my garage. The lights were off. I didn't even bother turning the lights off, lights on. But this more is less is not about how bad the picture is. But I was just, I, my life, I wasn't going to music festivals like I am now. I don't have like a cool dog to post about. I just shared my meal. I shared that I had done T25 right before I had to go to repping. And like, I just shared kind of what I was doing. My life wasn't super interesting. Not, I'm not saying if you're doing this, your life's not interesting, but I'm just saying like compared to now, even though my life still isn't really that interesting because I haven't really done anything lately, but 
it's not about thinking your life is this cool, awesome, like I have to be doing all these awesome things. It's just sharing, Hey, I was rushing to work and I still got my workout and still got my food. in. so a lot of you guys are doing these kind of things, but again, not like me climbing the top of Mount Everest. Again, just sharing me and a lot of the pictures that you're going to see and the reason why I'm sharing them, I never smiled ever, which is so important. Like there's so much proof that says if people see a beach body coach that's smiling in their profile picture and not smiling, they're most likely going to, uh, you know, contact the person that's smiling, just kind of how it works. Um, again, just sharing that I was doing my workout. I shared, this was kind of like no caption, but I shared that I was doing a juice cleanse, just kind of little things. I was at, um, my mom was, do, or my sister was doing a special Olympics thing. Again, just like super little things that I was doing, but just sharing my life. Nothing that was like, again, climbing Mount Everest. Okay. Pictures, no smile, look miserable. Like I hate everyone and like, I'm going to murder someone in the gym. No smile, no smile. These were like when I started posting selfies and I was like, okay, I guess I'll post selfies if Lauren wants me to, but like, I'm not going to smile. So I wasn't very inviting. Again, I just looked so like this person looks very emo. I don't know who that is. I mean, it's me, but just super emo. I just like, I, it's, it's not about faking a smile, but it's just about being welcoming. You want someone to, when they go to your page and look at their, look at your pictures, they're kind of just like, oh, okay, that person looks like they're not going to like come up behind me and stab me in the back of the head, which I look like most of the time. So these are some of the pictures that I post now. Like you can see the difference and it's nothing, nothing but time and working on my confidence. There's nothing in these pictures that changed in terms of like, oh, I, I lost all this weight. Like obviously when you lose weight, you like feel more confident, but like I wasn't necessarily a super different like weight in these pictures, but these are pictures just from this past year. And I just worked on my confidence through personal development. And I just gave the business time. The more you get confident or the, you give it time, you get confident in your conversations. And when you talk about coaching, when you talk about everything and it starts to show in your pictures. Um, this was one I wanted to show that was like, why I was just like, why, why did I share that? And it was my Shakeology, but no one knows that no one's going to stop and be like, Oh man, I'm really going to look at that picture of her drinking that jug with a pink straw in it with her steering wheel in the background. Like you want to make sure it doesn't have to be gorgeous. Um, but a lot of times you can have a really good caption. Even I still feel like I, I fall to this sometimes, but you want to try to make the picture as at least scroll stopping as eye catching as you can. So people will read the caption, but like, I can guarantee you whatever this caption was probably nobody read it. Okay. I have a few more things and then I'm going to be done. So, um, this was me just showing that I hardcore lacked in confidence. I was talking about how I miss being this skinny. I feel like I look like a twig. I'm trying really hard not to beat myself up again. Just kind of showing you confidence was like, hardcore lacking at that point again looks super miserable i mean maybe i was like kind of like well that workout was really hard but like this would be more so like for maybe like an instagram story type of post but not like a going on your instagram again those want to be a little bit more inviting okay so these were some of the questions that I asked in the team page. This was back in August of 2015. I, I've seen people ask this question, but um, talking about how, like, how do you convert people who are big fans of Weight Watchers and BBG and TUI and all of those things? I've seen people ask those questions. I was struggling with the same thing. I think now we're struggling with, like, different things. I think Tone It Up is, is still a thing now, but... Um, I was super nervous about sharing an income post. I was just even posting in the page about it. I was like, help me guys, help me guys, help me guys. Again, just being nervous about sharing things. I am not nervous about sharing anything now. Like I will share anything. I will be vulnerable. It doesn't bother me at all, but it wasn't always that way. Um, and then totally something I've heard before. Um, I was so mad. Like it makes no sense. Like these people drink a chocolate every day and they won't sign up as a discount coach. So angry. It's so furious. And then the last one, just being, just trying to not be negative, but saying, I just messaged three girls today and they thought they'd be in my next challenge. And everyone, every single one of them told me they were going to do isogenics. It works. I know this stuff happens, but I'm still going to kick butt this month. I just feel like it was a punch in the stomach, just posting it just so that we all happen to all of us. So as you can see, um, last thing I wanted to share, I know I have this video. Uh, I guess I don't. Okay. Okay. 
I want to show you this one last video and then I will toss it over to, I think Alexa's going after me. Um, I should have to get to my video. Video. I've shown this team, this video to my team before, but you guys know how I am on social media now. I'm like a hot mess. I'm loud. I'm why is this doing this? Okay, here we go. So this is a super quick video. The first video is like one from recently this year. I obviously have brown hair now. Um, was how I am with my videos now. Like when I'm like, hey guys, welcome to the, my challenge group. And then the second half of it, it's only 52 seconds, but the second half of it is what my videos look like when I introduce people to my challenge group after. So this is now. All right guys, week two. What, what? I hope you're even more pumped about week two. Um, I want you guys to ride the momentum from last week. A lot of, you know, I run these groups all the time. Um, everybody, you know, kicks butt that first week. And then once week two, there's still a lot of, you know, people in there but some people start to die off. Don't let that be. Hi, everybody. Um, I know I was supposed to post my welcome video like two days ago, but I've been like crazy busy. Um, but welcome to our 30 day <clears throat> mixed workout group program or challenge group. Um, I haven't done a mixed workout challenge group in a while, but I'm super excited because there's a lot of people that wanted different programs and I didn't want to do a bunch of different ones. So I just okay, first of all, I just said I'm super excited and I was like, I'm super excited. Like, I don't even think I smiled once in that video. So, okay, just wanted to share that to, again, show you guys that, like, I was not always this crazy, super excited about life person. Like, I, I think I was, like, excited about it, but I definitely didn't show it. So just know it's very important. Not that, like, you be super energetic like me, but just make sure that you at least smile a few times. Sometimes I see people do videos and they don't even crack a smile. Again, I was doing those things. So anyway, that's me. Okay, my turn. That was awesome, Alexis, thank you. Um, you guys can hear me, right? I've been having microphone issues. So you can hear me okay? Okay, great. Um, Hold on, I'm changing to gallery because I like that better. Okay, so, hello everybody. For those who don't know me, maybe there's some new people on. Are there any new people on today? Did Warren ask that already? Um, my name is Alexa. I've been a coach for four years. Holy freaking moly, man. Um, Amanda's new. Awesome. Welcome, Amanda. Well, yeah, I've been a coach for four years, which is nuts because um, just like Alexa shared and how Lauren's going to share too, I definitely took some uh some some of those m common new coach mistakes and i i definitely made those at the beginning of my journey and i'm excited to share that with you guys because i know sometimes it can be really easy to compare yourself and i still do it to this day lauren talked to me about it today on a one-on-one -on -one call i still do it i compare myself um it's a hard thing to not do but like alexa said you've got to just be constantly working on that personal development so that you're conscious and aware of it and don't get sucked into this comparison game because it can kill you like in this in this business and in life in general it can kill your spirit if you're just constantly comparing yourself to other people where they're at even yourself that's kind of where i'm at right now is i'm comparing myself to where i was in my business and my life a few years ago um and it's you know life is always going to be changing and evolving and that's really what we're kind of trying to show you is that your life is always going to be in different phases and different stages. And you just got to roll with the punches and be okay with constantly, you know, having to shift gears when you need to and be on your toes and learn and change and all that kind of stuff. So um, let me get in. I didn't have, like Alexis shared a bunch of her posts. I picked out some of my really early ones, which I'm excited to show you guys. Um, and I'll kind of compare them to, to um, some of my posts now. Um, just so you can kind of see, but you know, and I've always honestly kind of thought of myself as a pretty visually, like visually tal not talented person, but I've always had kind of an eye for artistic stuff. I majored in, um, in art and in, in uh, college, I wanted to be a graphic designer. So, but even looking at my old posts, I'm like, what in the hell was I doing? Like they did not look that great. So just know that like none of us are perfect and we all kind of have to stumble our way through this and learn and just being okay with that. You know what I mean? Being okay with putting yourself out there so that you can make mistakes. You know what I mean? Like, I think that's the thing is so many coaches are just too afraid to put themselves out there. They're too afraid to make the failures and the mistakes. They're too afraid to post about coaching for the first time or talk about how Shakeology is making you feel because of what your freaking 
you know, aunt or your cousin's going to say about you or your friend from high school you haven't talked to in three years, you know? So you just got to like put all that aside and remind yourself that, you know, we're all part of this community and part of these challenge groups and part of coaching because it all, it, it's doing something beneficial for your life. And by you sharing that on social media, whether it looks, you know, great or not, it doesn't matter. You're by you getting out there and sharing it, you're spreading the message. And it's funny because 2014 and 2015, like business wise, if you were to look at the numbers in my business, that was when I was like hitting crazy success. I was hitting like successful forties and fifties. Um, and, but I do not think that my posts were like nearly as good as they are now. You know what I mean? Like, so it really doesn't, you don't have to be perfect. You know, you just have to be really freaking consistent and vulnerable. Like Alexis said, I think that's what set it apart for me was I was really freaking consistent about sharing my journey. I was consistent about posting about challenge groups. I was consistent about posting about coaching. It wasn't always pretty and perfect, but I did it. And I learned and I got better because I was consistent. And the more that I did it every single month, I got better every single time. Whereas if you're just doing it once and then you get freaked out or you don't get a good response or you think it sucked and then you never do it again, you know what I mean? Like you can't learn from that. So anyway, sorry, I'm kind of bobbing. I'm trying to share my screen while I'm talking and it's not working. So hold on, give me like five seconds as I do this. Um, so I can actually show you guys some of, okay. And then of course my Zoom's giving me issues. Um, Hold on really quick. Okay. Here we go. Can you see? Okay. You can see it? Okay, awesome. So here's one of my first food posts. OMG. I looked at this, I was like, this is freaking disgusting. Like, I don't want to eat any of this. Like, ooh, this is such appealing chicken. Not. <laughs> so nasty and like even this quinoa like this is just not not very visually appealing right um I would really not post anything like this like if this just shows like the quality oops, the quality of your photos makes a difference and I really think though that I learned <laughs> I learned over time that you know what I mean like just just through like I said consistently posting and doing this I kind of figured out like okay I need to make this look a little bit better but you just got to get out there and start sharing and start posting about it right so, you know, I'm putting the containers on there too. Like, again, I wouldn't necessarily like slap, you know, two greens, one yellow, one red. I mean, I guess that would kind of pique some people's interest, but at the same time, like nobody knows what a green and a yellow and a red is. You know what I mean? That's talking beach body language. Whereas now I don't really, um, you know what I mean? Like I try not to put like the names of things in my posts and, you know, blab beach body stuff over my posts because people don't understand who aren't in beach body or aren't in your challenge groups or aren't in, um, or aren't part of the team. They don't know what this stuff means. You know what I mean? So they just keep on going. But, um, Lauren, were you going to say something? Sorry. I thought I saw you like unmuting yourself. I was just going to ask like what the caption says. I can only see part of it. Oh, but I think, I, th I don't think I scrolled for this one cause it wasn't very exciting, oh, but it was just screenshot. Oh, I didn't realize it's not your Instagram. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I took screenshots cause they were all over and I didn't want to have to scroll back and find them. I, but I did screenshot my coach posts, my, what I, my caption was, but it wasn't, I mean, I think that my caption was just like talking about meal prepping. And I think that is something that I have done pretty good from the beginning is talking about you know, what I'm doing and kind of sharing my journey. I don't think that part of it has really changed too much for me over the last four years. Really, it's just been, um, like I said, being vulnerable, you know what I'm saying? And, and making sure that I'm talking about stuff, you know, sharing things that aren't necessarily easy to talk about. I think that that's something that has um, been something that I've had to learn and grow and kind of become more confident doing over time. But um, so yeah, the caption isn't super exciting, but sorry, I should have screenshotted that too. But um, here's another one. Again, this was me like at the very beginning of my journey when I was doing T25. Again, like this is just like not a very visually appealing picture. You know what I mean? Like half of my sludge looking Shakeology here. Um, like my face is cut off. Like I don't really like to use all these like texts and like graphics and things, but I was all about that. Like when I was first starting off. But you know what I mean? Like I was just sharing my journey upright and early to get my upper fix in. Haven't worked out my arms in a while. Um, you know what I mean? Some of your workouts were tough, whatever, but I powered through, you know, like I've always been really good about just sharing my honest journey from the beginning. And I really do believe that that is what caused me to get so much success in my business. The first 
six months. Um, you know, for maybe those who don't know my story, like the first six months of my business, I was able to quit my full-time job. I replaced my full-time income with my beach body income in six months. Um, and that was because of my posting. I was consistent about my journey. I was consistent about posting. And even though I was new and even though I wasn't the prettiest and even though I was definitely did not have as big of a transformation as I do now, I was sharing it. I was sharing all parts of it. You know what I mean? Every single morning I probably did this post like, you know, when I was sitting in traffic on the way to my full-time job, to be honest, you know what I mean? So I think it's just important to, to share all parts of your journey, no matter where you're at and be okay with that and just start being open about sharing it consistently. Um, oh God. The lovely Shakeology selfie, right? Oh my God, you guys, for those of us OGs, this was when the triple combo came out and I got it in the mail and I was so excited to get my triple combo with strawberry, the new flavor. Oh my God, remember when strawberry was new? I feel old, I feel like a beach buddy grandma. But okay, anyways, but I was so pumped. I remember I came home from work and it was like, ah, I got my, my perfect day is when my Shakeology comes in the, in the mail. Um, but you know what I mean? Like, I would not post a selfie of myself with my Shakeology like this. Like, no, ew, what am I doing with my life? I just, I don't, I think that looks really salesy. I don't know. It just, it's not really in my bag. Like, I think it's more important to kind of share, you know, what Shakeology is doing for you. You don't need to be like slapping selfies of yourself. Again, like I said, I don't really like take pictures like with, with shit. Like, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't do those like posy pictures so much anymore, but I definitely did back in the day. So just for anybody who's, you know what I mean, like just getting started, I just want to show you this. Just like we are all guilty of the Shakeology box or the Shakeology bag selfie. At least I wasn't kissing it, right? <laughs> mm, I love my Shakeology. It's so lovely. Um, okay. So this was my one of, uh, so I was looking through trying to find one of my first posts about coaching. Um, and I found it was kind of interesting. Hold on, you guys, my door is open. Okay, sorry. Um, and I was looking through, and it was kind of hard for me to find it because I started off 100% as a challenger, not wanting to work my business. Okay, you guys, so like, I remember when Lauren first reached out to me, and she was like, dude, you're killing it on your journey. You're a discount coach. Like, you really could rock this business. I was like, no way, lady. Like, I'm not going to do that. But I slowly like transitioned and kind of, you know, definitely dipped my toes in the water first before jumping in. And I think that this was probably one of my very first posts that I did actually like coming out of the closet and saying like, Hey, I'm a coach. I do this with me. And so Lauren, this was right after we went to that Portland event. It wasn't super Saturday. It was like a challenge group training event. Um, I think it was in February and I, I started as a coach in October. So, you know what I mean? Like it took me a good solid October, November, summer, January, February, like three, four months to do a, a direct post talking about coaching and what it was doing for me. But here, this is what I said. So this is February 25th, 2014. This is almost four years ago. Um, you know, I never thought that two months ago when I decided to become a health and fitness coach that I would find my passion and calling. Hello, look at me. I'm not a figure competitor. I'm not even a size 10. But I love to help others reach their health and fitness, which in turn is helping me reach mine. This actually sounds a lot like what I would say today. Um, but you know what I mean? Like, so I think that it's just like, it's so important to just start sharing and talking like the honest truth about what coaching is doing from you for you from the beginning. Um, this week, I'm able to purchase my room at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas with my earnings from Beachbody. I'm only two months in. Um, that was really huge for me. I was able to use my income to go to Summit. And I shared, I talked about that. You know what I mean? Um, I remember, you know, like that was a huge moment and I shared that, that win that I had as a new coach, you know, from the beginning, I've met so many great mentors and friends come further in my own journey than I ever have before. And I get to travel to awesome places like Vegas and Cancun, all while doing what I love and getting coached. Everyone wondered what being coach is about. Email me, blah, blah, blah. And then look at all my hashtags too, like right there in the post right after hashtag healthy. <laughs> like, oh my God, I had to show the, the freaking hashtag a catastrophe. But at the same time, I, I will say in our defense that back in the day, I really think that hashtags work a lot differently than they do these days. So like doing hashtag healthy eating actually had people coming to my page asking me about this, but it just shows social media is always changing and evolving and algorithms are changing. And I don't do that anymore. You know what I mean? Like I don't, um, I don't post my, my hashtags in the caption and I don't share these kinds of hashtags period anymore. 
Um, but I thought that that was an interesting one. Just to kind of show like how I was, you know, first started to share about coaching and what it was doing for me. Um, here's another one. Here's a challenge group invite. I, okay, so every time I'm on a call, someone comes into my room and has to tell me the dinner is ready. And I'm like, I can't just tell me later. Okay, anyways, um, this is one of my first, this actually was my first challenge group. I, I, um, I paired up with Nicole uh, Honet. Now I had to remember her, her maiden or her married name. But we, t we, we teamed up for a very first challenge group, January 27th, 2014. Holy moly. Um, again, I don't like to share, like, stock images. No offense, Alexis. I don't think this is as bad as some of Alexis's posts. <laughs> but um, still pretty bad, like, just using the stock images. And at least I was sharing my own transformation, which I think is good. But still, this is kind of, like, really kind of salesy looking. I don't know. I would not post something like this to be good. This isn't the worst, like it could be worse, but it definitely could be a lot better. And now, nowadays, I like to just share my transformation. I don't even put all this extra fluff and stuff into it. I really just share my own transformation and use that to be my advertisement to bring people to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, so anyways, and I, I like how I hashtag 225 in there also. Um, but again, so this just shows, you know what I mean? Like for anybody who follows me on social media now, like I don't. Oh, here's my, my caption for it. I can't go on enough about how much of a game changer 225 has been for me. Just look at those picks. They don't lie. Four weeks in, already some noticeable results. You know, I mean, this isn't a bad caption. I don't think my captions were really as horrible as some of my pictures were. Running a challenge group with my fellow coach, Coley, uh, starting on January 27th. There are still spots. I want to help you, blah, blah, blah. Um, talking about the deals and the sales, I will say though, I don't really talk about deals and sales like publicly, um, too much. I do that. And, and this is the reason because I don't think, like, I, I'm a firm believer that everybody should have their own, um, recommendation when it comes to what program they're using. You know what I mean? So for example, like 225 or if any, we don't have specific sales for programs anymore anyways. But, like, I wouldn't just say, like, T25 is on sale. Who wants to do it? Like, and have people, you know, people coming to me that way. I would rather talk to them and see what program is going to be the best fit for them. If I think T25 would be a good fit, then I'll say, awesome, guess what? It's on sale. You know what I mean? Like, I share that kind of stuff behind the scenes in my conversations versus publicly advertising it, if that makes sense. Um, but, again, we don't have sales really on individual programs anymore um, like we used to. So maybe this isn't as relevant, but it is still kind of relevant because like with 80 Day Obsession, we have all these new challenge packs and promotions that we have going on right now. Um, I haven't posted once about all of the, how you can get $10 off all of the bundles right now for 80 Day Obsession. You know what I mean? Like I'm telling people that in my conversations behind the scenes. So um, I think that was my last one that I was going to show. And then here, let me go to my, my Instagram now. I'm in the middle of making the post. <laughs> We'll forget about that. But if you go to, here we go. Like, number one, I've really tried to, like, cult, oh, what's the word? Uh, what? I don't, curate, curate my feed a little bit more so that it looks more visually appealing as it goes together. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like all my pictures kind of go together. They use the same filter. You know, I try and mix it up with selfies and far away and food and quotes. And you know what I mean? Like, so I'm number one, I'm more intentional about how my feed looks all together. But then, like I said, you know, I don't do the, all the posts where I'm like, you know, have, have the, you know, program picture or any like that, or join my challenge group and text all across it. Like, this is one of my more recent ones that I did, um, talking about my boot camp, and I just had a picture of me on there. You know what I mean? So it's just, just another example showing how I've kind of changed my style of how I'm sharing. Um, I was just working on a team post, the one that I, you know, just exited out of. Oh, actually, I did post it again. I don't know what happened there. Anyways, here's my team post that I just said. You know what I mean? I, let, I just took, like, a really fun, like, vibrant, like, exciting picture. Everybody's super jazzed and happy about life. And I mean, I love this picture. I just think we all look, like, so high on life. You know what I mean? So I'm just, I don't have, like, join my team or anything on that. And that, not saying, like, you can't have text on your pictures because I do still do that. It's not a black and white rule, but I'm just, you know, showing that there's other ways that you can do call to actions and advertisements by just using like good pictures that, you know, this was actually a pro professional picture from um, Megan and she took pictures um, at Summit. And so, I mean, I think 
you know, a lot of you guys could take some of those team pictures that we use and share that stuff. You know what I mean? Um, but I think that it makes a difference. So just kind of showing you guys a little bit different. Um, and here, this one actually was like a more direct adver advertisement type of a post that I did about my challenge group. Um, I don't really do too many like really obvious like challenge group kind of advertisements like this. They're very few and far between because it's the new year and because it's 80 day obsession. I did do one for this, but this kind of just shows a little bit more visually appealing, right? It's like me, I don't know, a little bit of text, not anything too crazy. And then a lot more of the info is down in here. So anyways, I'm kind of blabbing. I've not looked at any of the chat, so I don't know what you guys are saying, but that is pretty much what I have for you guys. So I hope that that was helpful. I hope it shows you that, you know, even some of us who've been doing this for four freaking years had to figure it out and stumble our way through it. So yeah. Okay. Hey guys, that was awesome, Alexa. And it's like such a trip to like go down memory lane. I'm like laughing and then also just kind of like feeling so nostalgic. This is so fun. I'm really enjoying it. And I hope you guys are getting something out of this as well. Um, I feel like you guys covered a lot of it. So I'm going to try to keep this pretty brief. Um, and just you know, I made a lot of the same mistakes, I'll be honest, because monkey see, monkey do, Alexis and Alexa are both my coaches, and I probably didn't set the best example when I was just trying to figure out what I was doing as well, and I think there's a, there's a lot of value in that, is in, in, in that sentence right there. I was a brand new coach. I didn't know what I was doing, but I didn't let that stop me from bringing other people along on the journey and figuring it out together. Well, that's literally what the three of us have done um, is figured this out and grown together. So yes, exactly. They're lessons, not mistakes. It's all about your perspective on these things. We all do it um, in some shape, way, or form. Yours may not look exactly like our mistakes. Like maybe you've done, you know, little bits and pieces. Like I see some people saying that they've done the shaker bottle thing, um, like taking selfies with your, your Shaco. I love my Shaco. Shaco. Um, like it's just a little bit much, don't you think? You know, like that's just not normal. So just try to be normal. Like if you're drinking your Shakeology post workout, just take, uh, try to take a more natural photo versus the selfie thing. So um, I want to go, I guess, start by sharing um, a YouTube video. <laughs> Because you see me today on a team call, and I've done a lot of these team calls and just different calls um, at this point in time. I've, my five-year anniversary is in three days. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I've, I've been doing this for a little while. So I've made some mistakes, and you probably see me on team calls. And, like, I was like, I actually, I actually was like, oh, my videos weren't too bad. And then I watched this, and I was like, oh, my gosh, they're so bad. So for your viewing pleasure. Hey coaches. So today's topic is inviting. And I wanted to make a little video to share some tips that I've learned with the inviting process, okay? Because um, when I was a new coach, it was definitely a little bit scary for me. And it took getting outside of my comfort zone to really um, get over the fear of inviting and reaching out to people and putting myself out there. Okay, it's not that bad. But I, this is like one of the first videos on my YouTube channel. And I waited 10 months before I started posting YouTube videos. Wait, where was I? Yeah, okay. Oh, let's watch my, my um, challenge group introduction. Hey, P25 challengers. So I just wanted to make a little video to introduce myself. Um, I apologize for not being as active as I normally am in the group. I am sick right now and not feeling the best, so I've just been taking it easy. Um, <laughs> oh my God. I did. You guys, just like ridiculous stuff. Just ridiculous, or at least in my opinion. Um, and then I really started in 2014, I started getting a lot more into making videos and just doing videos and with practice, 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 like it's super easy. I used to have notes written down for every video that I did and was reading off of my notes. And while I still do use notes for some things, um, you know, like I just, 
the confidence that comes from practicing these things and making the mistakes and then figuring it out. There, there's nothing that, there's no book that can teach you. There's no training. There's nothing that can replace taking action and what you learn from that experience. Um, and I think we get so caught up in between the point of learning things and then taking action. We just get stuck right in the middle and we never kind of take the next step. And that's where you got to practice things like the five second rule and stop thinking, stop overthinking things and just start doing because you will learn so much through that process. Something else that I really struggled with. And I guess I'll be honest. Um, I'm not the best about it today either. Um, so is, is sharing my journey on Facebook. Um, I do share my journey on Facebook now. I'm doing it for my like page, which gets like absolutely horrible engagement. So I don't really suggest diving into the like page world unless you're already there. Uh, but I do really suggest using your personal page and expanding your personal network because that I didn't start doing that until or like regularly until way later on. And um, I think that I'll show you really quick my Instagram and then my Facebook and I share a very small fraction of my posts in the early days from Instagram to Facebook. It was like I was scared. It was like Facebook was this big scary thing that was going to bite me and now I kind of just get really bad engagement on Facebook so I'm discouraged but that doesn't mean I shouldn't that doesn't mean I should stop. I should keep going just crack that algorithm one of these days but oh my gosh Ned he's too much. So um yeah, but I just like really let the fear of like what people close to me, because like that's the people that were on Facebook, you know, Instagram felt like less personal. It felt like, you know, new people that I was connecting with that I didn't feel as um, afraid of their judgment, but then people, yeah, they don't pay your bills though. So who cares what anyone thinks about anything? I don't care what my Facebook friends think. That's not why I don't post anymore. It's it's a little bit different, but I just wanted to point out that like I barely shared anything <laughs> on my Facebook, which is like missing or, or leaving a huge opportunity on the table and um, expanding your, your, oh, it says I have to install a plugin. Shoot, I'm not gonna be able to share from my phone. That's annoying. Do it? Oh, do, is it really quick, Alexa? Oh, okay, it takes two seconds. Perfect. Cool. Well, let me download this plugin really quick. Install. Um, yeah, like I was just so scared. And as soon as I started putting myself out there on Facebook, like my coaches started doing it. Like when you start doing things, your coaches start doing it too. And that's why it's so important for you to be the kind of coach that you want to attract and um, do the kind of things that you want your coaches to do because monkey see monkey do like, that's just how it works. We're all trying to figure it out. And so we're watching the people that have been doing this before us or longer than us. Like, it doesn't matter whether you have one coach, let's say you have one coach and I'm trying to do the same thing. I'm trying to talk while doing this and it's difficult. So, um, let's say you have one coach and you're like, I, I have one coach, like, I don't even know what I'm doing. Like, I don't have anything to give to this coach. Like, yes, you do. You're, that coach looks up to you because you've been doing it longer than them. Like, even though Alex, Alexis and I started at um, similar times. Can you see? Oh, cool. Here we go. <laughs> even though we started at similar times, um, you know, she did come to me and look up to me and you know, we were in the, we were in it together, but at the same time, I definitely had to lead by example. So do you. Okay. So here we are. Let me find, let me go back to my first post. Let's just start at the beginning. And I am not nearly as organized as these two ladies. So I don't have specific posts um, necessarily pulled out, but I think there's a lot of value at looking from it, looking at it from this level. And um, we were kind of talking about it in the chat box you know, social media has definitely evolved a lot. Um, there's better apps, there's better phones, there's better cameras, all sorts of things. Um, but I think that there's some really good things about this stuff and also some not so good things. So first of all, I'm sharing a lot of my journey, ex exactly how Alexis was talking about, like your life doesn't need to be interesting. Your life doesn't need to be ultra super cool. Like you just need to share your health and fitness journey in your daily life so that you can connect with other people that are like you beyond just health and fitness, right? Like it doesn't need to be sharing, you know, 
whatever, going on trips or whatever it is, you know, your life, my life in this chapter was boring. I was going to school and I was eating, trying to eat healthy and live a healthy lifestyle. That basically consumed all my time. And then I was trying, started to try to build a business. I had zero social life. Like I was boring AF. Okay. So, um, but this is when I attracted some of my rock star coaches and you guys, same thing as Alexis. There is no pictures of my face. Like there's very awkward. <laughs> that is hilarious. You know, there's no, there's very few pictures of my face. And, and even still, I guess I didn't like to smile either. Jeez. DVD images, vintage, you know, still no face, just duck lips, just duck lips. Don't ask me why. Woo. Okay. Um, so if I, if I keep looking at this too long, I will start cracking up at myself because I find this so amusing. But one of the really good things that I'm doing here is just being relatable, sharing my health and fitness. People love food. So if you're into cooking, if you're into food, share food. This actually worked pretty well for me. I will be honest. Um, even, even lack of images and selfies. Um, it wasn't like this didn't work, but in today's day and age, your photo quality would need to be a thousand times better. And I think it's just important to just share your journey and to document your journey and to not overthink it. Um, okay. I want to go into some things that I did that were like pretty big no-nos in my opinion, where I had one somewhere. I mean, I'm posting all sorts of Shakeology graphics. Um, I had another one. Where is it? Just really, I, I don't even, I, I, I don't even know what I was thinking then. <laughs> I'm like trying so hard to go back, but I was sharing very consistently, regularly. I was showing up. These are all important things versus what you're sharing. You know, you're going to figure that out and it's going to get better over time as you find your flow, as you find your voice, you know, it's something that develops. Like Alexis said, it took her two years to find the confidence in her voice. And let me tell you, I have no idea who I was at this point in time. I've done so much soul searching and growth through personal development, through focusing on my health and fitness. I've grown. And of course, I'm going to share the journey of growth. but don't judge yourself based on where you are today. Embrace the chapter that you are in today and share it with, with confidence and, and pride that you're on this journey. And that's something to be a proud of because you're, you're ahead of someone else who hasn't even started yet, right? So you really just got to embrace it. I mean, like DVDs, Shakeology, um, all sorts of stuff. I had, I had one, where was it? just stock images, all sorts of things. I actually didn't do that many. Here's a stock image. Insanity. Um, lots of DVDs, but lots of food, not a lot of meat. And then you can see as I kind of get more into this, okay, I start sharing some transformation photos. Um, I start getting a little bit more outside my comfort zone. Hold on. but still not a lot of pictures of me. These days I'm posting a lot more images of myself because you are your own brand and like you are so recognizable. But I just still think like from looking at it from this, this view, you know, just the, the gallery view, you can see that this is just someone that's snapping photos and posting them. And like Alexis, Alexa, I do think, Alexa, you've always been really great at writing, you know, write, share from the heart, speak your truth. I think it's really beneficial if you like, don't look at other people's posts that much. Look at your own. It's okay to take inspiration. I do save some posts on Instagram of other people on, on occasion, but not really. I really just try to write from the heart and what's, what speaks true to me. Um, but yeah, you guys look like no photos of me until, oh, okay. I went to summit. I like basically changed at summit. <laughs> my first summit was like a rebirth of my human soul. Um, and look at this all of a sudden now I have confidence. I'm posting all these selfies because I hung out with my team in real life. Like actually my life did get a little bit more interesting right there. <laughs> 
And that was my first trip with Beachbody, which was a huge deal. Um, Alexis was there. Stacy was there. Oh, look, I'm doing a plank on Alexis's back. <laughs> this is at the super workout. Um, so funny. So, so funny. So I really enjoy looking at this. I just want to kind of get to a point where still, my gosh, I'm so afraid to share my face. Wow. Wow. You know, and the message here might be good, but once again, let's, you know, post things that people are going to be attracted to. You know, I, that, I just don't look happy there. Happy Monday, but I don't look happy. And don't post hashtags in the caption of your photo. Just going to note these, note these mistakes out loud for those of you that are watching. But okay, here are some, like just these save. You can see it's the same thing. Okay, I need to get past, past this section of my beach body journey because it definitely shifts somewhere. And we can see it really quick. Oh yeah, it's getting late. I want to respect your guys' time. And I want, I have other things to share. But dang, honestly, my social media is nothing extra special. It's nothing, it, I mean, even today, it's still just sharing my life. And I do most of my sharing of my life on my story these days. This is another conference I went to. So my first year, I really made it a priority to get to events, even though I was not making the big bucks. I invested every dollar back into my business, got to events. Um, events are game changers, guys. Like, they really are. When is this posted? 2013. Okay, so this is still my first year of coaching. We've been going through my first year of coaching. The number one thing I did right was post often and post consistently. Post often, post consistently. It doesn't even matter. You could, it could be horrible. It'll still work. <laughs> or maybe not. I don't want to say that. But you know what I'm saying? I don't think that what I did was very good. In today's day and age, it may not work. Um, so it's important for you to level up and to really um, to do what's working now. Um, okay. Wow. Holy quotes. There's not one image in there that I took. Why? Why? Don't do that. Don't do that. If you're going to post quotes, post them every once in a while. Wow. Oh, my face. This is good. Wow. Okay. My face. I'm alive. <laughs> More quotes. Holy quotes. 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 <laughs> my first success club trip. Oh, how fun. Okay. So maybe here we go. I'll tell you when I started showing my face more, when I got out of the abusive relationship I was in at the end of 2013, I dumped my shitty ex-boyfriend and I became a single lady. Here I am, single Lauren, the beginning of 2014, really working on finding myself. I'm single for the first time in five years. Went on a yoga retreat. So yeah, like when I started really, um, and he was super negative about Beachbody, so maybe that's why I didn't post pictures of myself. I really don't know. But look, the shift. <laughs> Literally, when I broke up with him, there's 10 times more pictures of me, myself. I never noticed that until right now. That's interesting. Okay, I'm going to stop this part. But you guys, I post, I, I've been relentless on Instagram for the last five years. Yeah, there's been days that I've taken off. Um, and I'm not going to say that I've posted every single day for the last five years, but I have posted most days for the last five years. It takes that type of consistency. Okay. Um, and I, and, and my following still isn't like anything ginormous, but 90% of my business comes from Instagram even today. Um, so yeah. Um, okay. I hope that was helpful. It was kind of just scrolling. But then I just really quickly, before we wrap up, I want to go to my Facebook page and just show you like the, how scared I was to post on Facebook. Oh, and then this other thing that I did that was really weird. Oh, wait, where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Hold on. Albums. Mm -hmm. And stay on till the end because we always do post call giveaway. Okay, here we are. Okay, I found this. 
I, I have just a few albums. I don't know. I'm not really into albums, but I have this photo or this, this album called healthy living. And actually I kind of like the idea of having an, an album dedicated to your health and fitness journey and posting all photos about your health and fitness journey into some sort of album. I was like, when I found this, when I was getting ready for the call, I was like, oh, that's actually kind of a good idea. What's not a good idea is everything that I posted in this album. If you're going to have a healthy living journey or um, an album to document that journey, put all of the images of yourself. But here I am, same thing, afraid to share me, posting stock images, Beachbody Challenge, this and that, and a healthy living album. Like, this is not beneficial. This is not helpful. I had the right idea. It's a good idea. Um, but this is not the right type of content that is going to attract anyone. And this definitely did not attract anyone. This is not what helped me build my business. It was the consistency of sharing my food and adding value and um, putting posts out into the world that people could relate to. And people really can't relate to this type of stuff. Okay. Oh my gosh. Alexa, what did you tag me in? <laughs> is it a new post or an old post? Right now on my, like, oh, I just... I just saw that you can do stories for events. So I may, I just took a picture of you doing this call. I'm going to put it as a story on our event page. Sorry. I was. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry. I just saw a note. That's why I hate Facebook notifications. I know I do too. Sorry oh, for distracting you. Yeah. Okay. So here is, um, my, my mobile upload. So this was the stuff that I posted to Facebook. Okay. So I showed you like that, that whole time, right. I showed you that whole time like, that I was scrolling through, like most of that was my first year. Well, here's my first post ever right here. This transformation photo was my first post ever. Did it not come up? I clicked on it. There we go. Um, and this is like, this is like right when I started coaching. Um, first transformation post. And then here I am at summit and it's like 10 photos later. And, and here I am at Summit and like, look at my caption. It's so funny. Feels so good to finally be a Beachbody Coach, 20, Coach Summit 2013 with my amazing team. Can't wait to see the rest of you. We dream big. Do you? Like, I mean, I'm going to give myself a A plus or a, yeah, an A plus for posting something about coaching because like, I'll, I guess like, you know, that's a big fear, right? It takes, a, it takes some confidence to do that, but I don't know about that caption. Um, and yeah, these vintage photos, man, cameras have improved so much since then. Um, but still I'm sharing very little on Facebook. I'm like scared. I'm so scared. I'm sharing the most random things here and there, but not really like anything. And I have no idea why like every once in a while. And I think that it's really important to be consistent across all platforms. And like I said, these days I'm posting over on my like page, but you can see the difference in the photos here versus on Instagram. And here, this is my first year of coaching. So this is my first year of coaching on Facebook and my first year of coaching on Instagram. You can kind of compare the two. And I'm, I'm doing myself a huge disservice by not sharing consistently on both. Um, and I really encourage you to put yourself out there to use the social media posts that you're making to work for you on multiple platforms. You know, it's not going to work the same. It might do better on one platform versus another, but if you're going to spend time making captions and, and images and posts and putting them together, definitely share them multiple places. Um, it's going to get more eyes on it. And ultimately that's the goal is you want to expand your network, touch more people. That, so then you can help more people, right? That's, that, that's what we're working towards. So, um, make sure that, you know, you're just utilizing your time and, and the time you're spending making content and making content that's going to serve you to the, to the best of its ability. Um, and yeah, like I had a lot of those same fears. So Amanda, um, is saying in the chat box, I, I still haven't come out on Facebook. It definitely makes me nervous. Amanda, I was in that same space for the first year of my business. And I can tell you, I, I relate to those feelings. And looking back, I wish I would have come out of the closet. I wish I would have come out of the coaching closet so much sooner um, on Facebook. But um, and, and yeah, like, you know, and it's, it was the same fear. It was the, the fear of judgment. It was the fear of, I was 
the girl who gained the freshman 40, not the freshman 15. I was the girl who gained the freshman 40. I got fat after high school for lack of better words. And that's how people knew me, you know, was like the girl that gained weight after high school. So who was I to now say hi, all my high school friends. Now I'm helping people lose weight. But, um, is someone unmuted? Does someone have any, something they want to say? Okay. I'm going to mute. Keisha. There you go. Thank you. Um, yeah. And like, you know, it doesn't, I always say my motto today is lovers going to love and haters going to hate either way you're winning because you have their attention. So even if someone is stopping to look at your post to hate on you, honestly, they're spending their time worrying about your life. So you're winning because you have their attention and a lot of your haters will turn into your lovers as you stay consistent. As they see you not give up, they'll be like, oh yeah, Amanda was serious. She wasn't just joking around, but like the first time you show up, they're kind of like, huh? I didn't know Amanda is someone that's in health and fitness. And that's kind of what I had to go through. But the sooner you start sharing and the sooner you start sharing consistently, the sooner you'll build a rep reputation and a credible one as well, because you will have shown up consistently and shown that you will lead by example. Therefore, your coach material. Someone else would want to follow you because you're leading. And if you don't show up on social media in that capacity, no one will ever follow you because they don't really know what you're doing unless you're just having a ton of one-on-one -on -one conversations with people. So I guess that's my advice. Um, that's everything that I have to share. Is there any questions, anyone? Um, Alexa, Alexis, you want to add anything? Oh my gosh, that was, I had, had a lot of fun. <laughs> you guys want to add anything? Um, the only thing I, that I, I wrote down was just that anything, I mean, we kind of talked about this, but like anything that, that you're struggling with, whether, you know, it's the confidence or your post don't look that good or the pictures or the, this or the, that, um, it's something that it, it, it has to be, it has to be worked on. It's not something that just all of a sudden something magical happens. Like I talked about like my confidence, like or Lauren, you know, wasn't sharing her face. Like it, it's just something that like with time, it like gets worked on. I'm like, you have to be working on it, but it's not like you read a personal development book and then you're like, oh my gosh, all my problems are solved. Like it's consistent working on. And some Lauren, I'm glad that you said that. Cause I feel like you, when you answer the question to Amanda about not you know, not caring what people think. My, the way I always go is a little bit different than what you said. I mean, they're, they're both right, but I'm, but I'm glad that you brought that up about, um, what did you say about, uh, people, you all, us kind of having to go through that period, especially most of us weren't born beach body coaches. None of us were. So we all have to, there's like that hump we have to get over. Cause it's like you first post and everybody's like, okay. What, what she's posting about health and fitness. And then people are like, okay, she's posting about health and fitness. And then like a few months go by. It's like, okay, well, she's, still kind of posing about health and fitness, but whatever. And then it's like, well, oh, okay. Well, she's posing about health and fitness still. Okay. What's up girl? Like, it's like, you have to break through that. Like that you'll never like be able to skip that. It's like trying to like be an become an adult and not go through puberty. Like you have to go through that. So the fact that you said that I was like, whoa, that's like a really good way to look at it. I never thought about that. My uh, thing I always say is that if you're on the call, you're on this call for a reason because your coach reached out to you. They got over their fear to give you the opportunity that you have. And if you let fear get in the way, you are stripping someone else of the opportunity that your coach gave you. And in a way, it's selfish. I'm not calling people selfish, but you have to remember, like, I am forever grateful for Lauren for reaching out to me. If she never did, I have no idea where, where I would be right now. Like, I have no idea. Um, so I want to give that opportunity to somebody else. If that means I'm going to bother a few people, but I'm going to give somebody the opportunity to completely, absolutely change their life where they're going to be able to do something that they never could have done. If I just didn't send a message to them, like, Whoa, the fact that we have the power of that in our hands should be like a gift. Like we get, we have to be grateful that we even have this opportunity. So, but I'm glad you said that Lauren, that kind of got me off the tangent, but really. My drop. Amen. It's all about your perspective. It's all about your perspective um, when it comes to everything in life, your challenges, uh, you know, your business, everything. Um, so yeah, I think this was an awesome call. I hope you guys took a lot away from it. And honestly, more than anything, just like keep taking action, be consistent, you know, you're going to figure it out. Take note of what's working and what's not.
please don't keep doing things that aren't working. Of course, you have to be consistent with things to know if it's going to work. You know, like you got to try something. You got to give it a fair shot. But anytime I was like, well, like something's not working, I reevaluated and shifted my direction just a little bit. Um, having this community is probably the best part of Beachbody. Don't feel alone through this. And seeing the start of y'all's journey was eye opening. Yay, I'm so glad because, like, yeah, you will not see me posting most of those things today. No. <laughs> um, we just don't make the same mistakes, but it doesn't mean you can't learn from them. Um, and it doesn't mean I don't make mistakes today. I make lots of them. They're just different ones. Um, so, yeah, thanks all. Thank you all for being here. I'll get this posted in the team page and stay on for the post call giveaway.